Hey mine friends, you are actually in the most perfect of scenarios, the most perfect of circumstances right now. And that's probably true for just about any point of your life. Let me explain what I mean by that because there's something very liberating and a profound solution to whatever kind of a mess that you happen to be in with your perfect scenario. So here's what it is and what I've found. I'm going based on experience, by the way, and what I've learned in other people's lives as well as my, as well as my own. So pay attention. I'll keep this short and potent. But um, there's two stories I'm going to show you as proof positive of what I'm talking about. And that'll help you understand, I'm sure. So the first story I'm going to share is with my friend Lindsay. My friend Lindsay, amazing girl. Once upon a time, a few years ago, she was in nearly half a million dollars worth of debt. A young cocktail waitress, not making much money at all. She had a premature baby she gave birth to. They didn't even know if she was going to survive. She had really bad health problems in addition to being a premature baby. They had no health insurance. They were living in a house that was falling apart and they owed more on the house than what it was worth. And the stories just go on and on and on of all the hardships that they had. And you're like, how could that be a perfect scenario? Well, here's what happened. She had a change in her belief. I mean, entirely a different change in her belief. She started putting some really great things into her head. And you know what she did? She went from that situation to fast forward just three years, debt paid off went from earning zero dollars a week to earning well over twenty thousand dollars a week she gives a hundred thousand dollars plus away to her favorite charities her favorite causes per year now her baby is healthy happy everything is afforded health care all of it they got a new house it's beautiful. She started a nonprofit company. This nonprofit helps troubled teens, you know, the ones that typically are vulnerable to getting involved in gangs and then, you know, it just goes downhill from there. So she's helping these troubled teens now, this nonprofit, find a, a vision and a purpose in their life and then equips them with the skill and whatever else they need to go for it. That's freaking awesome. And she's got a beautiful life now, a beautiful family and so forth. So what was so perfect about her scenario back then? Well, that scenario back then kind of pushed her into growing up, evolving emotionally, maturing spiritually, getting some new skills, some new philosophies, and then she just went for it. It was awesome. So that's her story. And her perfect scenario was perfect because she used it as leverage to get the equipping that she needed to be able to solve all those problems and achieve her dreams and it's still an ongoing thing. My friend Lindsay is just beautiful. I, I love stories like that. Now if Lindsay had been stuck in that scenario going, oh woe is me and she stayed in that mindset of negativity and this is just the way it is, just telling it how it is, just keeping it how it is and life is so unfair and all these kinds of things. If she did that, which is what most people do when they're in a really hard circumstance, right? Then I don't think she would have achieved any of this stuff. It was a shift in her mind and then everything else followed after that. Remember that, a shift in her mind and what she believed, how she held on to what she believed and, and how it affected what she did changed. And here's another story and this one's going to be my story. So once upon a time, back in, let's just say 2007, I had no job. It was offshore to India for cheaper labor. That was all of my income too. So I found myself with no job, no income. I couldn't claim anything on my taxes. I didn't qualify for any you know, government assistance. I literally had no income coming in. That was my scenario back then. Piss poor health. 30 years old, couldn't even go up a flight of steps, You know, run up a flight of steps at 30 without being winded. By now, if I didn't change course, I'm sure I'd be on medications for this and that and who knows what else. Gosh, what else was my problem? Gee, I was a special ed student back when I was in grade school and I rode the short bus, as they say, got held back in the first grade, still in special ed, and still barely passed with C's and D's. You know what I'm saying? I was educably retarded and I was labeled as such. That's my background. 
I got into a home business, the same one that Lindsay got into. And it wasn't the home business that changed us. It was a shift in our mind because to grow this home business that we were told could be used to solve our problems, these crushing problems, we had to develop ourselves and use the home business as leverage and use our circumstances as leverage to get the equipping that we needed to get what we want to solve those problems. I needed some emotional maturity, so did Lindsay. I needed some spiritual maturity, so did Lindsay. I needed some new skills, so did Lindsay. I used my scenario to get all of those things as a point of leverage and this new home business I just plugged myself into, the same one that, that Lindsay is doing, we used all of that as a point of leverage. I was in the perfect scenario when I had no job, no income, you know, the background that I had academically, no business experience whatsoever. Are you kidding me? And, and Lindsay didn't have any either. I didn't have the debt that she had, thank goodness, but you know what? That was the perfect scenario for her at that time. And now she gets to tell people she paid down half a million dollars worth of debt with all those other problems that she had too and with her premature baby that they didn't even know she was going to live. I mean, that's a story she tells openly and honestly to everyone because it inspires people. People look at that and they look at my story and other stories like ours. We talk about our successes, but we don't talk about our successes without also talking about what we had to overcome to create that success. And that is the key thing. That's it. That's how people look at us and other people like us and go, wow, if they did it, I can do it too. Why not me? You know what I mean? That is so powerful. I really hope you grasp onto that. And I hope you start looking at your circumstances as the perfect place that you have to be in your life right now. They're absolutely perfect. They're hard. We empathize. I empathize because we know hardships. Everyone knows hardships. Even if they're totally different hardships, we know hardships. Maybe yours are worse. Maybe yours are better. No matter what, there's somebody that had it worse than you that figured it out. So be inspired by that. But we all know hardships. We can connect that way. We all know overcoming. We can connect that way. We all know that we can change our mind because you've changed your mind before. You can change your mind again. And you can change your mind in a way that's in more in alignment with solving your problems and turning your circumstances, however hard they are, into the perfect scenario that you need to be in right now. Now, if you're stuck in this game of comparing yourself to other people, if you're stuck in this game of just telling it how it is, keeping it how it is, if you're stuck in this game of justifying with perfectly sound good reason reason as to why you're at because life is so unfair if you're stuck in those kinds of things then i mean you're, you're stuck you'll turn a messy situation into an even messier situation as time goes on and that's no fun so i recommend and i hope that my recommendation is, is coming along with some massive inspiration for you to just draw a line in the sand recognize that maybe you've had some beliefs that are not serving you but actually making things worse and change your mindset and start putting the good books and the good audios and the good ideas into your head from people that have what you want that are willing to teach you, people that have a track record of helping other people get what they want too, and you dedicating yourself to being the best student that you could possibly be. And then your circumstances, your scenario, whatever it is that you're going through, you're going to realize that you've been planted there for a reason and that is to grow. And that's true no matter what your circumstances are, no matter how unfair it seems. We can all empathize and, you know, be really heartfelt with each other, but it has to be with the aim of a solution, not, not for a pity party. Not to dwell on it, but we can be real and recognize we are in a mess and not sugarcoat it, but it has to be with a positive aim. It has to be with really great ideas, really great philosophical changes in what you believe in your brain. That's what Lindsay did. That's what I did. That's what a lot of other people have done. You know, you hear the rags to riches stories, people that get, that get healthy, people that solve problems financially, physically, emotionally, spiritually, whatever. And people that pull dreams down from the addicts of their lives and make them come true finally. All those things. People have a massive mindset change. And then everything else follows. So, I'm going to wrap this video up now. I hope this inspired the living daylights out of you. And I hope that you have that pivotal change in your mind that can finally allow 
everything else to follow and release yourself and your spirit from maybe a self-imposed prison sentence that you've been locking yourself inside of. And it all starts with that massive, not a little change, but it's typically a massive, monumental, pivotal, foundational change, like an earthquake that happens in your brain. And then everything else can follow and you can finally release yourself of things that suck and start that transition into things that are really pretty wonderful. And then along the way, because you're telling people what you had to overcome to achieve these little milestone victories, you never know who you're gonna inspire. You just know that you will inspire, just as Lindsay inspires, just that, as I inspire, just as other people who inspire, who step up without waiting for somebody else to take charge and leadership over their own life and talk about what we overcome. That's it. And then we inspire. And that's good for the entire world. All right, if you dig this video, go to my website, fireyourboss.xyz, not .com, .xyz, fireyourboss.xyz. Thousands of pieces of content I put out there. Go cherry pick whatever you need. Look me up, it's my website, so you'll already be there. Connect with me on social media, Facebook is the best. And if you'd like to know about this home business that I'm in, which is the same one that my friend Lindsay is in, and other people, I could go on all day with stories, I just wanted to focus on two. But if you wanna know more about this home business that we've used as leverage to grow ourselves, to solve our problems and accomplish our dreams and inspire other people, let me know. I will share a video that I made with you. I'll put the information in your hands and in your mind. Uh, it's about my 30 days to profit training group that I have. I teach in a group and I teach one-on-one -on -one as well. Just so you know. If you wanna know more about that, just let me know, I'll send it on over to you. You can have the info, it's free. And my content is free. And if you decide you wanna participate in the actual 30 Days to Profit and Repeat training, then we'll do it. And if you don't wanna do it, then at least you're on the path to finding something that you can use as leverage to help you grow yourself and accomplish your dreams and solve problems and inspire other people. That's what it's about. And my website, fireyourboss.xyz, by the way, the content that I post is all to do with health, healing, happiness, wealth creations of all kinds, philanthropy, mindset, growth, all the good stuff, you know, the life-changing and life-saving stuff. If you know somebody who'd like this video and like the message that's in this video, please share it. This is something that I feel is worth perpetuating more so than a lot of the toxic stuff that you're reading about, especially in the Facebook newsfeed, it's just so full of angst and a lot of negativity just for the sake of being negative. But if you feel this is a message that can really uh, help people heal just by putting these kinds of words in their head for, to help people have an epiphany, to make some massive positive changes that could inspire other people, please share this and share it with other people that you think would like this. And I will be hearing from quite a few, quite a few of you real soon about my 30 days to profit training sequence in this home business that myself and Lindsay and others have used as leverage because our scenarios were the perfect place to be. And right now I'm in a perfect place to be as Lindsay. Right now you are exactly where you're supposed to be at in your life. You've been planted there for a reason. It's time to grow. It is time to grow. And tomorrow you're gonna to be in a new spot for a perfectly good reason. And it's time to continue that growth. And it never ends. That growth process never ends until, you know, until the body turns cold and you stop breathing. That's about it. Then it's on to another experience. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace out. Next video coming very soon. Bye for now.